Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Carol and I have a folio here that I am just starting to make or I started to make and this is a file folder and this is I have these gorgeous uh, digitals of this little girl and I just wanted to use it and you know put I you know I have one girl on the front and one girl on the back and they're just beautiful and I have other I have other pages of paper that go with this little girl with the two girls and they're all in the same family they're all roses and vintage style pictures I have um, a lot of I have quite a few of these here little pockets to make and but that'll be more for the decoration you know right now I'm just planning on putting the folder together and I do have what I did was I have pieces of of a file folder that I'm going to let me put her up to the side but I have a little you know a few of these file well this here the file folder I cut it down to size and I'm gonna I have some coffee dyed envelopes that I want to attach on here and then a couple of other cutouts from the file folder that I want to make flips and tucks and you know what have you in there so I made I'm gonna do one right now but I'll probably make two of these in here because I want this uh, file folder to be to be plentiful with a lot of journaling pieces in here so I thought I would come along and you know maybe put a coffee dyed envelope on here and maybe on here just to so that they're I could even do it with both together but I you know I want to make it different so so they're not the same and then I was thinking of maybe you know I would cover this with you know one of these papers here just to cover up the envelope on there and then I would take this shorter piece this is my plan anyway and it may change when I start to do work with it and you know just kind of fold this paper make this a flip up and then have a pocket underneath that you know so that's what I plan on doing I really want to make this with plenty of journaling places lots of tucks and fold outs and stuff like that so these envelopes are gorgeous though the coffee the coffee dyeing on here is just very really nice okay so I'm going to I think I'm going to just keep it like this so I'm going to glue this down this is a, a really good project for with a glue stick if you have good luck with glue stick I just don't I mean you know something that I want to have held down I usually go for you know like my main glues that I use are the um, art glitter glue and fabric tech unless I'm just not using the right glue stick and I've used a few I mean it does work sometimes so and this is this is just going to be so gorgeous and then I want to put the other one on here so I'll just put my glue on this little flap I just really enjoy making folios because you can you can do so much with them you know being able to make the different tucks and flips and flaps and 
It always looks gorgeous. So that's what I was thinking of, you know, making a flap on here. But what I may do is put some paper down first and then put this over that because okay I need my pencil and this paper is so pretty okay so I'm gonna cut it there let me get this up there I don't want to have too much left over. Okay. Let me get my cutter. Sometimes it's hard to um, see that little mark. Okay, so let's get this down on here and not put it down, upside down. I want to make sure I cut it right and I wasn't in that crease. Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm going to hold, hold this half of it and then I'm going to glue the other half. I think it did move. Okay. I don't know where I got this, uh, these digital papers from. I'm really not sure. And because I've had them for a while and, you know, sometimes I, when I'm on Etsy and I see this beautiful paper and I love it, like these different digitals and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to use that. I'm going to purchase, you know, download it. So that's what I do. And then, then I don't remember where I get it from and I like to so that I can, you know, mention it when I make when I make a video for it because you know after all I want to give credit where credit is due because some of these sellers on Etsy they just do such a a wonderful job on creating such beauty and I want I want I would like this to be filled with um, you know, at the end with lace and it just looks like that would be a perfect, this would be a perfect project for this, you know, for lace and sorry silk. Okay, where's my scissor handles? I just want to make sure that I have a real good crease in here. Oh, that looks pretty. That's going to be pretty. And then what I'm thinking is I'll have this glued down here and then I'll have one of these and I'll make a, a pocket or even a double pocket. So what I'm thinking is I will, I will glue this, not glue it, but I will, you know, you see what I'm doing. I am, I want to uh, ink it up just a little bit. I 
and I want to ink this up before I before I glue it down. You know, I don't know if I'm going to round these corners. I think I probably would, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll just leave this back for use it as a journaling spot, you know, for a journaling spot. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I have my rounder here, my corner rounder. Oh, but look how pretty this is going to look, you know, and I may just leave it without putting paper on here and just you know, put ephemera and maybe even could even put a like a smaller pocket on here or yeah, I could do that. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna glue this onto here. And if I do do the you know the corner rounder, if I do use it, that would be toward you know after I when I'm putting on the decorations, the, the ephemera and making pockets. I just don't know what I would do. Like, I'm not sure if I want to leave it this way and just use this as a journaling spot. So, that, you know, there's, I want this to be, a, you know, an area for lots of journaling. Oh my goodness. I could put the other, the other half on here. So what I'm going to do is cut that down. myself more room. Okay. It's hard to see my pencil mark on here. Okay, here we are over here. And the envelope, I'll probably cover that also. is gorgeous. I really like this. Especially, you know, I think it goes so scrumptious with the cover. With those little girls. It's so pretty. Okay. Sometimes this is the easy part is putting everything down because, you know, to me the hard part is trying to think of what you want to do with it because there's so many different things you could do with it. And, you know, you just want to make the best of your project. So I can also cut the end of this envelope and make that a tuck. I can cover this with paper and then make this uh, a journaling spot and the same with the envelopes. I really like doing that too. Okay, so the front part here, 
let's see what we could do with that. I just wanted to look at the different papers I have here. And it's, there's so many pretty ones and it's like you want to pick I like the rose. Well, I think they all have roses on them. I'm glancing real quickly at it. You know, and they're just just a little bit of difference in them. I could use this one because it's already the white lines are cut off. So maybe I'll do that and I'll just cut this down to size. And I can use the front size with the little pagoda on there. I want to get as close to the end as I can so I have that little envelope covered. Okay. Okay, so let's get this on here. Oh, that's so pretty. This is going to be so pretty. quite a few of of this paper here and I'll probably make some journaling cards with it. I think these print offs that I this kit that I bought with these papers it had something like I don't know a lot of paper. There was probably, maybe there were 14 pages if not more. And I could have doubled it also. Because I do have quite a bit. And, and I also believe I've used this in, a, in other projects. though that's so pretty and let me get this other side and that'll be a good start to feeling like I've I'm accomplishing something so we're gonna cut it there and then cut it there I hope this part is not boring. But it depends on what you're making. Crafting, you know, making projects like this can be so time consuming. That's why I sometimes I try and get started off camera. You know, just to collect everything that I think I may use.
just to make the load go a little lighter so that the video is not it could cut the video in half you know i mean if i started with just collecting everything which is like right here it would just be such a much longer video you know and it's kind of hit or miss because some people some people that watch the videos they like to see everything you know they like to see the cutting they like the sounds of the cutting the, the little cutting machine and you know and then you have people that say fast forward to that okay Okay, this is coming along really nice. You know, and there's so much you can do. I could take, um, I could cut like a piece of this off and make a side tuck where I could, you know, lift that and then have something here and there. My goodness. I may even do that. I don't know. I'm just thinking right now. But with this envelope, I'm going to cover this because I don't want it as a pocket. So I'm going to cover that. And I can use it as a tuck on there and then slice this open and then use that as a tuck. And I can also have um, a pocket in the front. There's so much you can do with this. Okay, these I'm going to put off to the side because I'm going to do something with those in there. Let's see what I could do with what kind of paper. I think this may be a little... The colors aren't too bad, but... I don't know if I would, but I'd like it to be a little, you know, where I'm able to put similar papers together instead of, instead of just keeping it all these, you know, keep that as a flip out or maybe put this on the top. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. In fact, you know, I think just keeping it with the same paper, that would tend to be a little boring. You know, there's nothing wrong with mixing it up a little bit and You know, it's in the same family of colors, and they're all roses. So, let me measure. there. So I'm going to bring it up. Yeah, I think this is going to look nice with it. Now that I'm looking at it, I think it will go really good. And you never know until you try it. So, This would be a good covering for a pocket. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up putting a pocket on the front of this.
I find attaching these so much easier when I hold it this way. You know, I held it down to get the first, the top part glued down and it doesn't move. But I see other girls that glue the whole paper that they're putting down and they, gosh, I don't know how they do it, but they put it on pretty, pretty good, you know, where it's not too bad. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Yeah, so this will be a journaling spot, and I'm going to put this on the top of this envelope so that the papers are similar or the same. And I'm going to cut it there, bring that up for the length, and then cut it there. This may be a two-part video. Where is, where did I mark it? I don't know if that's, oh brother. I can't find where I marked it. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. Yes, I'm really loving this paper that I'm putting on right now. And I wasn't really sure if it would if it would be a bit clashing. But I love it. I, and I've had this paper, this sheet. Could be my last one. I've had it for so long. And, you know, sometimes you don't want to put papers down when you think it's they're not going to match too much, but you know what? I think, that, I think it's fine. So pretty, so very pretty. Okay, now what am I going to put behind here? You know what I do have? That card stuff, but I, I don't even know where it is. It should be here. But I'm not going to take the time to look for it. Okay, and it would be plain anyway. It would be um, the different color cardstock that I use for different projects. Maybe I'll put... I wonder if I could bring this into there. These here. I could bring bring those in for the inside of both of these. Yeah, that may that may not be bad. I can always cut them down and see how they look and if they don't look if they really look bad I won't use them but I think they'll be okay.
Yep. Okay, now let me measure this. Now, should I start? Should I measure it from this here? Okay, let's go there. Pull this back in. Yeah, I think this will be fine. You know, because you don't want to have the same paper through the whole thing. You want to you want to shake it up a little bit. give it a little bit more interest. Okay, so let's get this put down. Now, wait a minute. I want to make sure I don't glue the whole thing. I don't think I'm going to glue this down because I'm going to use, I'm just going to glue this down because I'm, I think I'm just going to go from the, gosh, it's hard to explain. I'm just going to, I'll show you after I glue this down because I'm going to use this as a tuck. Oh gosh, look what I did. I put too much down here. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to use it. didn't matter if I moved it. Okay, so... Because it's going to be covered up with this. So I just, like, I don't want to put glue on this part because I'm going to cut this open and maybe I should just do that now. I'm just going to slice, <clears throat> cut this just a little sliver to open up this pocket. I could have used my little cutter because I'm not going to get this even. I know I'm not. I don't think it makes a difference. So now, is it? Yeah, so now it's open and I want to make sure these little things are glued down. These little flaps so it doesn't Okay, this one's already glued down. Now, I have to make sure that this is thought upside down. Okay, so this is going to go on this way. I'm going to have to cut this down a little bit more because just a sliver because when I cut the envelope this made it too long okay so I don't want this to be upside down. And I think we're good. Even if we weren't and, it, and I put it on upside down, I would still fix it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just... I'm just going to go on the edge of, the, of this paper. I'm going to go on the edge and then I'm going to go on the envelope 
to make sure that I have something to attach it to without blocking off the inside for the journaling card. And look, I put this down crooked. So, oh, okay, well, it's... Okay, so... I just have a feeling something's upside down here. No. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to glue it at the top of the envelope. Now I'm good. You just don't want to glue the top paper here to the inside of the envelope because you'd never get anything in there. You close it shut halfway down. And believe me, I've done that before with envelopes. Oh boy. I've glued many envelopes closed. Yeah, I think this looks this looks fine. Everything's good. Yeah, I think I think this paper looks pretty good. Okay, so I think I'm going to measure this part. Make sure I'm all even here. Trim it there. And trim it there. Oops, I'm bringing lots of paper here with me. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to get these envelopes. Let me get this here. Oh, wow. Look at this whole thing came up. It must have been from when I coffee dyed it. I took the glue off. Because that does happen. So we'll get this back down. glue all these pieces and look I did it again well it doesn't matter because I still need to glue it so I'll just let that stay there but I'm going to wipe it off because I have to open up this envelope okay let's see I'm going to slice this open as straight as I can. This looks like it's pretty well down. Spot there. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm straight before I glue this down. this a little bit more because it's too long.
just a little bit. Okay, let's see. Just want to cut that little, little part off. Okay, I think that's okay let's see now I have to hold it the other way without moving it so I'm gonna get this I'm saying top part but it's really the bottom part And I'm going to get the top of the envelope while I'm here. Oops. Okay, and I think what I'll do is, I think I'm going to finish right now. I'm going to end the video right here now that I have all the, all the papers on here. And hopefully we'll get this, this folio done in the next video. Because I'll gather up all my little flips and tucks. And as long as I have this main part finished and let's see on here I think what I'm I'm not even going to glue that I think what I'm just going to glue is the bottom part here and I'll just be able to well I'm not going to glue it yet because I, I still want to ink it I still want to ink these edges that I have here I guess I could do that right now. And I know I'm not going to use this part, so let me stick this in here. This does not take long to ink, so let me get this done. just so that I get a little bit out of the way because I don't want the next video. I don't want it to run into three videos. And then I'm going to get my lace. I'm going to put probably um, some muslin over here and then lace over the muslin. And I'll probably just put maybe ephemera on here, like rose stickers or something. But on the back, I want to put lace. I want to put ribbons and lace back here by the girls. That'll be so pretty. And I'll put my thinking cap on to see if I want to, how I'm going to, what I'm going to do up here. I think I'm going to do something like, like a longer piece of this and just do like a flip up maybe do it longer and have a flip up and then maybe maybe even a pocket on the back side or something 
yeah I'll do that so I'll have everything all ready so we can finish this off and um, get it done because I'm really anxious to just to see how it's going to turn out but I think it's going to turn out gorgeous so thank you so much for coming along with me with starting this new folio and you have a good rest of your day we'll talk soon bye bye